Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today I'm going to continue to keep it real. So real that I just really didn't feel like putting on makeup today nor doing my hair, putting in product, letting it sit for two hours, diffusing, hoping that it's going to be big enough for day one. But you know what? That's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes we just get tired of our curls. And that's what this video is going to be about today because I know a lot of you are starting to or have been discouraged by your curly hair. It's a lot. No one said this journey was going to be easy. Well, maybe I did. It gets easy. I think it gets easy. Once you kind of get into the routine of things and you figure out what your hair likes, wash and goes are your friend. So I literally just got out the shower and I'm going to have a little chit chat with you while I deep condition and put on my face mask. So today's hair mask I'm going to be using is the Not Your Mother's Royal Honey and uh, I was supposed to learn how to say this before I ever brought it on camera again. Kalahani. Kalahari? Is that an R? Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon. I'm sticking to it. This is a repair and protect butter mask. They come in these little packets, sold at like Target. Helps to repair and prevent signs of damage. Awesome. I've already used it, so I kind of just want to use it before it dries up. So that's what I'm using today. And I'm going to let it sit in my hair for 20 minutes. Now back to you. You might be someone that's watching right now that is about to give up on their natural hair journey. Well, that's why I'm here to say don't give up. You've come this far. If you have committed to my no heat challenge, my deep conditioning challenge, my big chop challenge at the beginning of this year, it's now August. So that means we only have five more months for you to go and you have completed a full year of not using any heat, of deep conditioning once a week, or you have at least over six months of hair growth from your big chop back in January. So. Round of applause for you already for making it this far to August. You guys know who you are. If you are someone that's been committed this entire year, leave me a comment so I know who's really stuck to their challenge. Now, even if you haven't, I'm sure there were weeks where you were like, you know what? I just don't have time to deep condition. I'll do it next week and maybe next week you didn't do it again. Or maybe some of you even snuck you know, straightening once or twice, special occasion maybe, but it's okay. We all make mistakes and as long as you commit to getting back on track, it's never too late to start or restart your natural hair journey. Another reason why I'm coming to you, you know, bare-faced, flat, wet hair, besides me just, you know, kind of really being tired, I don't want to add to what could be the reason why you want to give up, which is false expectations. Even us curly hair influencers have bad hair days. We just don't always advertise it on Instagram. So even someone you may follow that you think has the most perfect hair, there are days where that person, influencer, girl, whoever, is over their curl. Like they just want to put it in a bun the rest of the week and if they were an influencer, it probably would be in a bun the rest of the week. Trust me. I understand that sometimes you can just get tired of your curls. Like you just don't want to deal with them. You might want to throw on a wig. You might want to get braids. You don't want to do anything, which is so amazing. But I much rather you go to braids or wig versus starting to straighten your hair and ruin all the progress that you've done thus far. So for those of you that write me saying, hey, I'm really tempted to straighten my hair. Please give me some advice as to how to change this mindset. This video is for you. This is for those of you with those itchy fingers to straighten your hair. One, you need to give your straightener to someone else so that they can hide it. Because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. If you physically can't straighten your hair, you're not going to do it. So if you are lacking that type of self-control, just be real. You guys know who you are. Don't be like, oh, I can just stop when I want. Really? Really? Hide your straightener and put a picture of my face on it. So when you reach that, you have to look me dead in the eye before you decide to ruin your challenge. So now let's find a solution to keep you motivated. One, I hope I'm motivating you. That's why I post two videos every week to give you guys new tips or tricks or product reviews, or I give y'all something to make sure that your curly hair journey is just a little bit easier each week. You guys have no idea 
how often people write me asking for advice, and then I say, what products do you use? And then they name a bunch of products that I've never heard of and or never have recommended. So if you are struggling with your curls, please just try some of the products that I have recommended on my channel. Almost every video I have is something that I approve that I think would work for your hair. I'm gonna wash my hands, be right back. It is currently around 8 p.m. at night, and as you guys may know, I like to do a hair mask and a face mask at the same time. But I'm going to use this mask by Fresh. This is their Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask, replenishes and locks in hydration. I have a whole video on this one, by the way, if you guys want to check it out. But this is a mask you could sleep in, so since it's so late, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, smells amazing. It smells like roses. There's two steps. So I'm going to have to apply step one and then step two. Now, another way you can stay motivated to keep up with your natural hair journey is find a curl friend. You always need a curl friend to be there to encourage you, so you guys can do this together. Just like working out together is easier, doing something with a partner really just makes everything more fun and even more challenging to see whose hair looks best first. No, 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 you don't have to make it a competition. But it's always good to have someone there to encourage you to keep going. That way you also have someone to talk to when it comes to recommending products. If you don't have any friends that have curls, just go to my comment section on Instagram, on YouTube. People start conversations all the time. Follow someone else that has curly hair and see what kind of products they use and, you know, feel free to ask them. Most people with curly hair are really nice. It's a curl thing. I also want you to use Instagram for motivation, but not for comparison. It's so easy to look in the mirror after your maybe big chop or after heat damage or color damage, and then you see someone on Instagram and you're like, wow, her hair is so much better than mine. My hair's not that long yet. My hair's not that healthy. And you start getting in your own head and then you become discouraged and you just want to give up. Don't compare yourself to people on Instagram. Look at me right now. We are not all glammed up all the time. So it's just not fair for you to compare yourself to an unrealistic expectation that you see on Instagram or YouTube. But what I do want you to do, if you are following other curly influencers or curly hair pages, use that as motivation. Use that as like, okay, I can't give up now because I know my curls can look just like this. I'm not gonna go back to straightening because I haven't straightened in three months, six months, a year. I'm not gonna risk messing that up now when I'm so close to victory. Use people online as motivation, not as like a comparison or competition. Everyone's curly hair journey is different. I'm not gonna say if you big chop, you're just gonna instantly feel liberated and it's gonna be the best thing ever. Well. It is, but you might not feel that way instantly in the moment. Some of you guys might be freaking out because it's so short and you're comparing long hair equals beauty, which is not true. But just trust me when I say you just have to keep going. Keep deep conditioning. Don't start cheating back to straightening your hair. When you guys big chop and then you straighten your little pixie cuts, you defeated the whole point of cutting off your hair like that kills me but i just want you to be able to commit to what you decided to commit to there's no point in doing multiple big chops you should only have to experience that once and i promise you that you will see new growth like you've never seen before just put a picture up on the wall to remind yourself of how your hair used to look it was dry, it was breaking off, it was bleached, it was damaged beyond compare, and it wouldn't hold a curl at all. So now your curls might be little, but they're the healthiest they've ever been. So I say all this to say, don't give up. The curly hair journey is called a journey for a reason. It's not called the curly hair stroll, the curly hair skip. It's the journey, and a journey usually has ups and downs. I think of like hills, mountains, it's a journey. If you agree with what I'm saying, please leave a comment down below to back me up so people know I'm not just saying stuff. I'm sure you've had a journey yourself where you felt like giving up, but you didn't, and now you currently love your hair. If that is you, please leave your testimony down below. Once again, if you have committed to my no heat challenge, my deep conditioning challenge, or my big chop challenge, you are almost there. I don't care when you started. But if you are someone that committed to my challenge back in January, you've officially reached 
seven months and I'm so happy that you've made it this far. We've only got five more to go and you've done a full year of no heat, a full year of deep conditioning or a full year of new hair growth. If you haven't seen any of my challenge videos, I'll make sure to link them down below and at the end of this video so you guys can check it out and feel free to join now. It's never too late. If you enjoyed this video and felt it encouraging or you're just someone that needs a little pep talk right now so you don't go down that dark path of heat damage or color damage or whatever you're about to do to your hair, I'm glad that you watched this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week. And if you need a little daily motivation, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. We're always pushing out positivity on the gram. Well, on my gram at least. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.